Hi everyone. Good morning. It's Happy Monday today. I'm going to try re-scoping this. Um, I did it earlier this morning and I wasn't too happy with the results. So I'm going to try doing this again because for some reason it did not save this video to my gallery. And so I won't be able to upload it to YouTube uh, for some of you guys that want to view it later today. Uh, because I know not everybody can watch Periscope during the day. A lot of people are working, etc. And so I'd like to have my videos available for all of you guys. To all of you guys, I mean. So what I want to do is try to rescope this, show you guys my process. Hopefully you guys will be able to see everything way better than you did before. And I'm going to just go for it and show you guys what my process is here on printing up some pretty fun deli papers to use in your art journals, Bible journals, scrapbooks, really fun. Again, deli paper is like super thin tissue paper. This is what it's like. It's like, it's like super thin. It's, it's not the same consistency as tissue paper, but it's pretty close. Um, these ones I get on Amazon, um, they come 500 to a box, um, or you can get them on Etsy. Just do a search for deli paper on Etsy and people sell them in bunches. Um, it's a lot cheaper buying a box 500 on Amazon, but if you don't want that many, no problem. Anyway, here it is. It's just going to be a quick scope today. I'm just doing five sheets. Um, my other scope is still available. You can watch that one, but I was having trouble and for some reason it didn't save on my phone, so I couldn't upload it to YouTube. So I'm redoing this and hoping it works. Um, here we go. Uh, what I usually do is I use newsprint on the bottom of my surface so it doesn't get ink all over the place because ink can be wet and messy. Um, and then what I do is... I lay out about four to five, six deli sheets, just together, just like this. Who cares if they're folded up, doesn't matter. Um, next, what I do is I pick out some fun stencils I wanna use and some color of ink sprays, and then I just get busy. Um, what I first do usually is I usually spray down some color right away before I start stenciling. And so today I'm gonna to start with pink on these ones, and here we go. I'm just adding some pink to the paper in little bits. There we go, done. Um, Next, I think I'm going to use some pretty teal blue. And what I'm going to use is use this stencil right here. And I'm just going to spray. Now it's wet on top, so what I'm going to do is turn it over and dab it on another sheet. Lift. Keep going. I'm going to do that. I'm going to maybe spray a little here, spray a little there, and spray a little here. Again, top of it's pretty wet, so all I'm going to do is do this, dab it, take it off, do it again, take it off, do it again, take it off. Really simple. Um, that's it for that one. That's all I'm going to use for that stencil. Next, um, that's it. all I'm going to use for the blue, too, so the blue's done. Um, next, I think I'm going to try some yellow, or no, maybe not. Uh, yeah, why not? Yellow's fun. Um, I'm pulling out this stencil, guys. This is the one I mentioned yesterday on my first scope. This is the deconstructed floral stencil. It's just gorgeous. Love it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I don't think I'm going to use yellow because that's pretty light color, so I want people to be able to see it. So I'm going to use really dark blue on this one and see how it turns out. And I'm just playing. See what I'm doing? I'm just spraying it. Oh, beautiful. I'm turning it over. I'm going to tap it down, then I'm going to lift, oh yeah, these turned out great, and some more blue, oh yeah, pretty, turn it over, love it, gorgeous, now you might even be able to put another down here. What do you think guys? Messy and fun, right? This stencil is amazing. I just love it. I use it in a lot and I just I just think it's just so darn pretty. Okay, next one I'm going to use is this one. And I'm going to use it with yellow. And here we go. And all I always see 
see all I'm doing is ink spraying with the stencil and then turning it over and patting it down. That's it. It's not rocket science. It's pretty easy. Making pretty things does not have to be hard. It really doesn't. There we go. Looks gorgeous. Love it. What do you think, guys? Done. All right. I have five more deli, deli sheets here ready to go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. And I'm just going to press down on my newsprint. Just to make them, just to get some of that wet ink off. I'm going to do that with all five sheets. Now with this, I think I did, I think I did 12 sheets from my last scope and I did these five. So now I have 17 sheets of deli papers to use in my journals. I can cut them up into different shapes. I can write on them. I can stamp on them. Cut them up into like strips to put in my journaling Bibles on the on the margins. And there you have it. Here's one, two. Oops, I'm sorry. Three, four, and five pretty deli papers. What do you think of the colors, guys? I think they're cool. Um, I first I started with some pinks, and then I added some uh, teal and blues and pinks and yellows. Used a couple different stencils. Uh, what I did is I used this pretty Floribund, this deconstructed floral stencil, which is available at Stencil Girl Products. It's by Tracy Batista. It's a nice size stencil too. It's really pretty. Um, I used this stencil today and this. And then I used this one. Have fun with your supplies, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's really fun to, make, to color up deli papers to use in your journals and in your art. Um, as I said, these are pretty damp still, so even though I've blotted them, they still need to dry. So give them a, at least a good couple hours until they're like completely dry before you start cutting them up and decorating them with stamps or whatever. Uh, they, they're damp. If you, if, you, if you could feel them, you could feel them with your hands. They're a little damp. They're not all wet, but they're damp. So they do need to dry. So there you go. I hope you guys will try it. Get some deli paper. Look on Etsy. Look on Amazon and play and have fun. You can use these as gift wrap. You can use them as printed tissue paper in your packaging. When you're sending out happy mail. You can even wrap gifts with this stuff. It's beautiful. Um, so I hope you guys will try it. I really do. Uh, hey, thanks. Uh, it is pretty and easy. Thank you. I love it. I love the, I love the messy look. I, I The colors and the designs make it pretty. But... I just like the messy look. So that's how I create. I'm pretty spontaneous like I shared yesterday. Um, I just grab what appeals to me at the time. And I usually love the results. So I don't plan. I just grab whatever I have. For this for this scope, I grabbed three or four stencils I knew I wanted to use and to show you guys. And I just did it. Um, as you can see, it doesn't take a lot of time. It takes like 10, 15 minutes to do this. Not long at all. And you have a lot of pretty colorful papers to use later. So pull out your supplies, get some ink sprays, get a couple stencils that you love, get some deli papers. You can do this with plain paper too. You can do this with cardstock, you can do this with watercolor paper, and it's sky's the limit. So have fun, play with your supplies, and thanks for joining me. Um, I hope this scope will save because I did want to upload it to YouTube for the people that aren't on Periscope. So cross your fingers, guys. Have a good Monday. Bye.